Arsenal ratings, Ramsdale puts in another world-class performance and Smith-Rowe finally gets chance to show off talent. Arsenal extended their unbeaten run to nine with a 2-0 win over Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. Mikel Arteta's men started the game quickly, and in under five minutes they got themselves in front. Buke Osaka's expert cross from a corner was met by Gabriel, who flicked the ball into the far corner of the net. The Gunners were happy to defend deep and hit the Foxes on the counter when the opportunity arose. And Emil Smith-Rowe doubled Arsenal's lead before the 20-minute mark. Saka broke down the right-hand side before finding Alexander Lacazette inside the penalty area. But the Frenchman failed to control the ball and get a shot off. Smith-Rowe snapped up the loose ball and fired low past Kasper Schmeichel, who was rooted to the middle of the goal. Free bets, get over £2,000 in new customer deals Leicester's best chance of the game, came through James Madison just before half-time. The midfielder curled a free kick towards the top right corner, but Gunners keeper Aaron Ramsdale got up well to tip the ball onto the underside of the crossbar. Johnny Evans tried to bounce on the rebound, but the ball was cleared just before the Foxes could pull one back. The Foxes pressed in the second half to find a way back into the game, but Ramsdale was there to deny them. The win puts Arsenal level on points with Champions League chasing West Ham. Here's how Suns portrayed Arteta's men's performance on Saturday. Fantastic performance from the young keeper, who is targeting Jordan Pickford's England N01 shirt. His save to deny Madison from the free kick was simply world-class, and he's proving a lot of people wrong. Ramsdale also denied Adam Ola Lookman in the second half, in Peter Schmeichel style, cutting the angle off spread eagle. Four clean sheets in seven appearances for the 23-year-old. Another assured performance from the summer signing on the left side of Arsenal's defence. Tavares looks good going forward and disciplined in defence. Dug deep during Leicester's second half onslaught and headed the danger clear on numerous occasions. One of the key cogs in Arsenal's defence alongside big money arrival Ben White. Set the tone of the afternoon with his well-placed header. The Brazilian looks to be forming quite the partnership with White, and boss Arteta will be hoping the pair keep up their good form. Didn't buckle under Leicester's second half pressure. Done a good job at keeping an eye on talisman Jamie Vardy, alongside his fellow defenders. The Japan international spent a lot of time inside his own half defending Leicester attacks. But overall he had a decent game and kept a clean sheet. Smith Rowe is going front strength to strength this season. He was close to a senior England call-up during the last international break and he's put himself in contention for November's fixtures with his goal-scoring display. Took his goal really well and worked hard for the team overall. Spent a lot of time out of possession as Leicester held on to the majority of the ball. Got stuck in when needed and showed discipline when defending some of the home side's attacks. The experienced midfielder marshaled the midfield well and lead by example. He's forming a good partnership with Lakanga, who is relishing the chance to play games in the injured Granit Zarka's absence. Worked hard out white on the right-hand side. Picked up an assist for Gabriel's early opener and played a pivotal role in Smith Rowe's second with a surging forward run. Couldn't quite stamp down his authority. Didn't connect well with Sokka's cutback, but the ball fell to Smith Rowe who tucked the Gunners' second home. Hooked off after 58 minutes. The club captain is starting to find his feet again. He worked hard from the team and lead the line well, pressing at every opportunity. Almost picked up an assist with a well-struck volley that almost found party at the back post. Martin Odegaard for Lacazette, 58 mins, 6 didn't really make an impact and has struggled to this season since making his lone move permanent from Real Madrid. A game where Arsenal dictate the tempo will suit Odegaard best, but today wasn't one of those days.